Hello my friends, today we are working on Affinity Photo and I am going to show you how to extend the background. First thing I would like to do, go on the right side in the, in the layer dialog and click Command J to duplicate my background. Now with the background selected, I'll go on the ref side and choose the crop tool. Click on that and then what I want to do, I want to move the lady over here, move her on the left side and create a big um, blank space onto the right in case I want to add text or something. So with the crop tool selected, I drag the side to the right and then I reposition it so she will sit under rule of thirds. Quick tip, if you hold shift, then you're staying on the same um, level so your you know, crop doesn't go up and down. And I will accept that. Now I have this big empty space on the right and I need to fill it with the background. The way to do that is by choosing your um, rectangle marquee tool and I will drag a rectangle on the right. Now I like to enter the quick mask tool by pressing Q on the keyboard and then with the move tool selected which is this arrow on the right side I will adjust the sides because I don't want to select any of her arm or her tablet because I don't want to stretch that. I only want to stretch, stretch the background. So I will move this side over here and press Q again to exit the quick uh, masking tool. Now with this selection, I will grab the handle over here on the right and just drag it to fill the background. Something like that. And now I will Command zero to fit it to screen, Command D to deselect, and there you go. Now we extended the background. This is the easy way if you have a very simple background and this is, works really well. Let's move into our second example. We will extend the background of this image. It's a beautiful image, but I want to add a little bit more space to the sides and the top. And for this one, we're going to do one extra step to get a little bit, uh, have a little bit more control. And the way I will do that, first I will go to my background and make a copy, Command J, just like we did in the previous example. With the background selected, I will go to my crop tool and I will extend just the one side to something like that. Let's say I want to add this much space on the side. Accept the, the crop. And now I need to fill this portion. The way I will do this with the same um, selection tool, I will draw my rectangle, Q to enter the quick mask tool, just like the other one, and then make sure you have the move tool selected. And I will make sure I don't get any of the wing. And then I'll move the other side as well so I don't get any of the empty space. Q to exit the quick mask and now what I like to do is duplicate this selection. So I'll go Command J and I duplicate this selection. Now if you see here on the right side, I have a layer with just this one rectangle. And then now I will stretch this duplicated layer, just like that. Then I'll go on the right side with my um, layer selected. I will right click on it and I will merge it down. And now Command D to deselect it. We are good on that side. Let's work on the left side. I will go to my top background layer and Command J to duplicate it again. Then I will go to my crop and extend it onto the left. Accept the selection to the marquee tool. The same like last time, make a selection. Q for quick mask. Then with the move tool selected, I will make sure I don't get any of the wing and grab it from the other side too so I don't get any of the empty pixel layers. And then uh, Q to exit the quick mask tool, Command J to duplicate it and now I will drag it to the left. There you go. Click outside of the picture and Command D to deselect. Com Command 0 to fit it to screen. Now Command minus to make it a little bit smaller because I want to add some on the top. Now I go to my top layer and I will merge it down as well. And let's see, now I want to go back to my crop tool 
and extend it to the top, maybe that much. Accept it. Command minus to make it a little bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing. Take the marquee selection tool, make a rectangle to the top. Q for quick mask. Make sure you have the move, to se move tool selected so I can select the portion that I want to stretch. Q to exit quick mask tool. And now I will command J to duplicate it and then stretch it. There you go. Click outside, command D. And now we, if I group these layers, you can merge them down. Uh, let's say command G to group them. So this is our picture before and after. Before and after. Let's do a little bit more difficult of a example. Let's see, where is my kitty cat? Over here. Let's say I have this kitty cat picture and I want to maybe crop it into a square so I can put it on Instagram, but I want to put the, the kitty cat right in the middle. First, I'll do Command J to duplicate it. Then I will take my crop tool and go to one by one. And let's see, I will move it so the kitty cat will be right in the middle. Something like that. You know what, let's just, let's just leave it the way it was. Just because I want to do a little bit bigger empty space on the left so I can show you this. But I want to put the kitty cat in the middle. Maybe we'll go with this. Something like that. Now we have this big space over here. Let's see what happens if we will do it the same way we did the other examples. I will click on my marquee tool. I'll make my selection. Q with the move tool. I will make sure I don't select any of the kitty cat, just the grass. Something like that. Then Q to exit the quick mask tool. And now if I stretch it, see what's happening? Let's see. The grass is distorted and that's what happens when you have textures into your background. When you're stretching it, it's distorting it. So this is not the great method to do when you have a lot of texture. It works great for plain backgrounds, but for something like this, this method, it would not work. So how do we do this? Well, I will show you. Let's go Command Z a few times to undo. Command D to deselect. And for this method, we need to copy the grass from the right and move it to the left. And in order to do that, I'm going to go Command minus to make it a little bit smaller. Now I will take my marquee tool and select the right portion. Let's see. I think I lost my selection there. Make a selection Q for quick mask with the move tool. I will make sure I don't get any of the kitty cat, something like that. And now Q to exit the quick mask and I'm going to do command J just like before and to duplicate this rectangle. Now with the move tool selected, I will just take the selection and I will move it on the right side. And let's see, something like that. Click outside, command D to deselect. And that worked, but now we have this line over here where we, you know, put together the other side and they didn't match perfectly. In order to fix that, first I will merge this layer. So I will right click on the top one and merge down. And now I will take my clone um, tool from over here on the left. This is the clone tool. And flow, I have, if you notice, I have a 32% flow. And for the top here where it's very blurry, I want to make sure I have hardness to zero so it blends very nicely. So I will option click to select the source from next to it and then just kind of paint on it. And I keep taking new points. There you go, something like that. We're cloning that line. And you can't really see it on the grasp, just a little bit over here on the bottom. bottom. And because this one has a lot of texture, I want to make sure that I increase the hardness to 100% because I don't want any blurry, uh, I don't want any blurry texture in there. So I want to make sure I have nice crisp edges. 
So now I select the source and we are painting and cloning our line. And let's see, this is our before and after. Before and after. And this is how to extend a background and affinity photo. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I will see you in my next video.